OPBUS is a young EV company from Kenya that has been working on providing zero emission transport alternatives for African countries. Their work has yielded a creation of conversion kits for battery electric trucks, buses, and various types of transportation. Recently, they also started working on two-wheel transport. Their first two-wheeler model is a light electric motorcycle with an affordable price tag. This model is to be equipped with an 8,650 watt electric motor that is capable of producing 136 pound-feet of torque. Such motor is powerful enough to reach 55 miles per hour speeds. The time to reach the top speed is said to be around 5 seconds. The battery setup of this model is represented by two modules with the 2.9 kilowatt hour capacity each. The modules can be recharged through a portable 240 volt AC charger. This process takes about 4 hours and can be carried out even when the battery is removed from the motorcycle housing. With two completely charged batteries, this motorbike can go for up to 100 miles with a payload of 330 pounds. It has taken the German-based Black Team motorbikes almost a year to prepare their first electric motorcycle to mass production. Named the Bonfire, the L1E two-wheeler boasts a timeless 1970s scrambler design. The model has a characteristic round LED headlamp, old-school tubular steel frame, and a flat back seat. The model is brought into motion by means of a 3-kilowatt electric motor that can produce a peak output of 5.4 kilowatts. This rear hub motor can also make 132 pound-feet of torque and is good enough for reaching the top speed of 47 miles per hour. With a 1.7 kilowatt hour battery, the moped-like bike is capable of going up to 35 miles in the sports mode. The eco mode takes less toll on the battery, so the range on one charge could reach 46 miles. The model also supports a dual battery setup, so by introducing a second battery, you can double your range. As standard, the model is equipped with dual rear shocks, hydraulic disc brakes, and a long bench seat good for two riders. The manufacturer is also planning on introducing a more powerful model called the Bonfire X. It will feature an electric motor with 8 kilowatt peak output, a 60 mile per hour top speed capabilities. Despite already having an extensive e-motorcycle lineup and some of the best electric powertrains in this class, Zero Motorcycles keeps innovating and producing new bike models. FXE is their latest creation. In terms of looks, Zero FXE greatly resembles a concept that was created a couple of years ago. The bike's platform remained mainly unchanged compared to previous generation FX models. The powertrain specifications are as follows. An e-motor with 34 kilowatts of peak power and 78 pound-feet of torque, a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery pack with fast charging capabilities, clutchless direct drive transmission. With the curb weight below 300 pounds, this model shows zippy acceleration from the start and is capable of reaching the top speed of 85 miles per hour. The manufacturer's range estimations show 100 miles of city riding and 40 miles of highway commuting. The technological package for this model includes front and rear LED lights, a 5-inch color screen, and a smartphone application with riding mode controls. E125 is a lightweight electric motorbike that represents the segment of low-budget, short-range city commuting vehicles. The power to this two-wheeler is supplied via a brushless 3-kilowatt motor with a regenerative deceleration feature. E125 is equipped with disc brakes both in the front and in the rear, has an adjustable hydraulic suspension, and has a maximum carrying capacity of 350 pounds. Even though the base model comes with a single 72-volt, 35-amp-hour battery, the second pack could be purchased separately. For a relatively small cost, you can double your range and look for a charger less frequently. The estimated range a single battery can provide is 50 miles, so with a dual battery setup, you can go for up to 100 miles without recharging. Please note that the range estimations may vary depending on the chosen riding mode, eco, comfort, or sport. When depleted, the full charge can be restored in 3.5 hours.
Dab Motors is yet another emerging manufacturer that is planning on bringing their electric motorcycle in the near future. The Concept E is their vision of an e-bike of tomorrow. Made with a very minimalistic design idea, Concept E is light, agile, and futuristic. The Concept E was created as a zero-emission alternative to a 125cc commuter bike. Powered by a 51.8 volt, 4.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, the bike can last 68 miles between charges, which is plenty for urban riding. The installed 10 kilowatt electric motor is capable of providing electrified sprints to the top speed of 65 miles per hour. The model also received a series of premium components, namely carbon fiber inserts, an Olin suspension, CNC aluminum brakes, and a Gates belt drive that is known for its silent operation. Concept E aesthetics was also enhanced by front and rear LED lights and LED speedometer that is integrated in traditional tank position and also acts as small storage. Dab's simplistic approach toward Concept E has given it a very clean and elegant look worthy of attracting attention. The success of Surron, Super Soko on the American and European markets has prompted other Asian electric motorcycle manufacturers to seek global expansion opportunities with their good value e-motor bike offerings. ER10 Bike was produced by a company that's planning to replicate the success of the aforementioned brands. Their street motorcycle will start its European sales with such specifications, 6 kilowatt liquid cooled motor with performance equivalent to 125cc class, a 62 mile per hour top speed and a 60 volt and 70 amp hour battery pack. With a capacity of 4200 watt hours, the estimated range is said to be 75 miles in eco mode. The performance mode that lets the motor reach peak output of 14 kilowatt will drain the battery much faster. ER10 has received a plentiful technological package that lets it handle well and stop fast, including disc brakes with dual channel ABS, a pair of front telescopic forks, and a mono shock absorber with adjustable preload linkage. The creators of the OFR M1 motorcycle were guided by the less is more principle in the design of their two-wheeler. Despite having received minimalist looks, this powerful off-road electric dirt bike has everything to wow many EV enthusiasts. The performance of this two-wheeler is to be provided by an air-cooled electric motor capable of a 25 kilowatt peak output. This model received everything one may need to take the road less traveled. With the installed 6.2 kilowatt hour battery, the joy rides on this vehicle can last for about one and a half hours. If you like what you are seeing and would like to get your hands on a model like this, we've got some news to cool down your excitement. The two-wheeler is still at the prototyping stage, so you may have to wait till 2022 to pre-order it. The manufacturer's brand development strategy includes the introduction of several other models, including electric street motorcycles. Those bikes are likely to follow the same minimalist design approaches. We wish the company the best of luck on their path to success and will closely be following news about their upcoming electric motorcycles. With the release of the Bravo GLE, this Spanish manufacturer brings a long-awaited updated to the segment of affordable light electric motorcycles. This two-wheeler comes powered by a powertrain duo consisting of a 5-kilowatt rear hub motor and a 100-amp-hour lithium-ion battery. The manufacturer suggests that this e-bike will be capable of showing performance equivalent to a traditional 125cc motorcycle. The Bravo GLE can reach a top speed of 68 miles per hour and promises a range of autonomy of 62 miles. This electric street bike will be available in four body color variations, black, blue, green, or red. Safety is granted by the combined braking system CBS, which employs a pair of dual piston calipers coupled with two rotors on the front wheel and a single piston in the rear. The manufacturer positioned the Bravo GLE in the category of entry-level urban and suburban electric motorcycles and will offer it with a price tag of €5,500.
Omega Motors is a San Francisco-based company that has decided to give a classic bike from the previous century a new life and a modern powertrain. Their 1975 Honda CB200 project aimed at producing an EV while maintaining the original design. The company managed to fit a new electric motor and a 1.6 kilowatt hour battery unit without completely changing the bike's aesthetics. They installed the battery pack in the old engine bay and placed a motor right below it. The charging plug is hidden under the original fuel cap. To keep the spirit of the model, they also kept the original parts, including the switches and analog speedometer. The CB200 runs on a single electric motor that produces 5 kilowatt nominal and 10 kilowatt peak power. The installed battery pack can provide an estimated range of 30 miles. Unlike many short-range e-bikes out there, this model is capable of reaching the top speed of 60 miles per hour. This conversion project is a must-see for any EV enthusiast. Omega's ability to revive the golden age of bikes with modern-day tech is an idea worth following. Oregon Motorcycles' new approach towards electric vehicles is completely different from traditional EV manufacturers. While most companies out there are focused on selling their EVs, Oregon focuses on lending it. Their new business concept is to manufacture and lend electric motorcycles to both individuals and businesses. Electric bikes have proved to be great vehicles for short distance commuting and last mile delivery, although there is only one thing that stops them from going universal. It's the limited range. Oregon motorcycles seem to have found a solution for this issue. Their models have easily removable batteries. With the ability to swap batteries, riders can immediately restore a battery to a fully charged condition on Oregon stations. Their built-in GPS tracking system allows cooperation for easier fleet management, and 4G integration enables over-the-air upgrades. According to Oregon, the rental offers the best value with the lowest operation cost. As always, we encourage you to participate in the conversation below the video and discuss the presented lineup. Which EV is your favorite? And did we miss any other high quality units? Like this episode, subscribe to the channel and continue your exploration of the electric world by following the links on the screen. See you soon.